Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and it feels like this is the day it all officially begins, the 22-23 campaign. I feel like this is like day one of a new start, a fresh lick as we head into a new season. The fixture list has been announced and we have an idea of when Celtic will be playing such and such, and we're going to look all over it today as we discuss the 2023 campaign in the cinch Scottish Premiership, where may I remind you that Celtic head in as champions. <laughs> Now before we go any further with today's video, please make sure to go down below, hit like, hit subscribe, it would be much appreciated, it's free, it only takes a minute of your time and we're on that road to 35,000 subscribers, so yes, let's not waste any more time, let's get into today's video. So it's always exciting to know who will be playing on the opening game of the season, when the first derby is going to be, um, and this year especially, it's quite a weird season, it's quite a unique experience because this is the first time ever that we're going to have a break midway through the season for a World Cup due to the fact it's being played in Qatar, as we all know, the season will stop in mid-November and then it will resume later on in the season and we'll touch on that a little bit later. So it's a bit of a unique feel going into this season, things are a bit different. Um, I would have rather the World Cup right now so we could have went through with no disruption but it, you know it's we have that winter break normally anyway so it kind of cancels that out and this is effectively used uh, as our winter break and also in that absence of football Celtic will be heading over to Australia as we know to compete in the Sydney Super Cup so some and some to some extent we have a fix of football it might not be you know the, the first team that we watch over in Australia on our television screens at six in the morning or whatever time but you know there will be football there there will be stuff to talk about with Celtic and you know that it'll keep the players who aren't getting chose to represent countries at the World Cup a chance to play some football keep themselves fit uh, and use the time that they would usually go into Dubai and such to, to stay in a, a sort of hopefully a role because you're hoping that you head into a, a situation where you go on that break with good form you hope that you're going into the World Cup top of the table a few wins behind you um, and hopefully that the disruption of that World Cup doesn't take too much of a hit because players are still playing football they're still training and we're still getting the best out of the time that we have so it'll be an interesting season to watch unfurl there's a lot of things to talk about but let's ultimately show off the, the fixture list for Celtic this season so here it is in all its glory the list of fixtures for the 2022-23 campaign all the way from match day 1 to match day 33 of course course we need to wait for the split to see what the the last five games of the season will be but pretty standard stuff what you expect to see we play each team three times over the course of the 33 game period and we start off the season with our Celtic Park fixture against Aberdeen which will of course be flag day we will raise the champions flag at Celtic Park in a pretty tough game it's, a, it's a, an opening fixture that um, of course, with judging off Aberdeen last season, should be standard enough, and I feel like any home game should be standard enough for Celtic, but um, Aberdeen have got a point to prove, it's a big season for them, Jim Goodwin has to get off to a good start, so we're going to be facing an Aberdeen side who are, are probably going to be tough to play, um, and, and I guarantee it right now, they're not going to finish ninth this season, I think that they will be on for a better season, they'll look to recruit well this summer, Jim Goodwin will, will certainly like to make the best use of that first full campaign as Aberdeen boss, there is big changes up there of course, Scott Brown has walked out the door, he's away to Fleetwood, he's no longer with Aberdeen, so Jim Goodwin's got a pretty fresh start with his, his own sort of team in his own ways um, to try and do something here with Aberdeen, so the opening game will be tough, it really will be, and then after that you've got a really tough trip to Dingwall, away up north on the second game of the season, so we've been handed a tough couple of opening games, but you'd expect Celtic to take them in their stride, and hopefully we look for a better start than what we got last season. That's the thing now. You know, last year was toxic. In the opening six games, we lost three. We lost at Ibrox, we lost at Tynecastle, and we lost, of course, at Tony Macaroni. Those were three games in the opening six that really got the, the mood a bit damp. Um, a lot of people kind of threw the, the, the towel in already. And I think this season, when you look at those opening six games, you fancy your chances a bit more. Some really favourable um, home games against Hearts and Rangers. Um, no, I'm joking. But, you know, two, three home games that are certainly winnable and three away games that are certainly winnable. Rugby Park will be tough, but I think that they treat us a little bit kinder than last year visiting those three away venues. So, a decent opening six for Celtic this season, but ultimately on screen there, that is your, your run of games. It's pretty standard stuff. You can't really ask, and I see people complaining, complaining already. I've seen an article the record put on Twitter about Rangers having a, a trip to Dingwall on Christmas Eve, you know, obviously that's like what 300 miles or something all round 
and people are complaining about, listen, it's, it's just a fixture list, you're, you're going to have hardships, you're going to have favourable ties, you can't really expect much, I don't think they're going to put the priority on Rangers fans for a Christmas Eve trip when, you know, vice versa, Ross County fans would have to travel down to Ibrooks anyway, so, look, listen, I, I, I'm not stunned or anything by the, the fixture list, I'm just glad that we're not heading to the likes of Tyne Castle in the opening game of the season, I like the fact that we have got that home tie, but I guess that's what champions get, they get to raise the flag, they get to have it on opening day, so I'm excited for that, but I, I feel like when these lists come out, there's always something to moan about, people always find the smallest things to moan at, and I can understand if it's a proper weird decision, or something, you know, they're asking you to travel to Dingwall on a fucking, I don't know, Tuesday morning, you know, if something like that happened, then yeah, okay, I'd understand, but you know, this is the, the football league that we play in, this is the season that we, we know we have to expect, you're going to have these things happening, so pretty standard stuff, you know, when these lists come out, you've just got to take the run of games you get, and for Celtic, I don't feel like there's too much of a particularly tough run, we throw it up again, I'll, I'll point at a couple of bits, so there was a wee bit there, match day 12 and 13, that's a couple of tough away games back to back, we head to Tyne Castle first, and then the Tony Macaroni, which isn't ideal, you know, because they're two venues that we have slipped up at in the past, but I'm hoping that the juju for uh, Livingston has been ended with that win we uh, we got last season. Um, and Tyne Castle, we know we can win there if we turn up, and we're a strong, strong side at the moment. Apart from that, everything seems to be a decent enough run. There is a few back-to-back -back away games that could be stumbling blocks, but as I said, you know, what do you expect from, the, from these league fixture schedules? Um, you're going to be handed moments like this, and we know we play the same 11 teams three times so things will just work out fine we are capable of beating every team in this league so let's just go for it let's go for an invincible season eh? so some key dates then we talked about that world cup we talked about the fact there will be a break midway through the season alongside that there's some other dates that we should look at in particular that you should mark in your calendars let's have a look at them now so the first game of the season is the 31st of July, that's when the campaign officially kicks off Flag Day against Aberdeen at Celtic Park. The first Derby game on Match Day 6 is on the 3rd of September right now, but here's a point for you, remember this, it will most likely be moved to the 4th, it will be moved to the Sunday, right now it's scheduled for a Saturday 3 o'clock kickoff. that's not going to happen, simply not going to happen, so I'd imagine that will be moved to an early kickoff on the Sunday, and just like the other derbies that are down in this list, Here's the big thing, remember, asterisks beside everything, these will be subject to change, things will happen, blah, blah, blah. During the course of the season, they're not going to, that campaign will not be played the way it is. When you play cup games, European games, things will move, things will change. But right now, it's scheduled for the 3rd of September, most likely the 4th. Um, we've then got our last game before the World Cup on the 12th of November 2022, and we return just over a month later with an away trip to Aberdeen when we return from the Qatar World Cup. Now, that is an interesting one. Aberdeen is the game we return to. Potaudry is the game we return to. A difficult one. Um, so, it feels like that. It could be treated like an almost like kind of kickstart to the season, like a refresh, depending on how things are going. So, you know, we, we might get that way where it's sort of leggy towards the end leading up to the break. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But that is when we return. Uh, our first Ibrooks trip isn't until the 2nd of January, that New Year's fixture. That will be at Ibrooks. Um, at the start of 2023 and finally our last game before the split is scheduled for the 22nd of April 2023 so that's when we'll have a rough idea of how the league table looks heading in to the business end of the season hopefully we're a bit cleared by then but we, who knows it could be down to the wire we'll have to wait and see and that does it. It's a shorter one today. There's not much else to say. It was just a basically uh, a key date sort of video. We'll be back over the weekend with some content as we head into this new season. Hopefully some transfer news and such as well. Very exciting times. I'm buzzing for 22-23. Let's go and retain that league title. Anyway, that'll do it for me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.